Hello and welcome to the Golden Trail Series. Trail running is back. If you're wondering how long it's been, too long. We're here in the Ola de Nuria. Look around. We're back with six races to qualify for Argentina. And today we start with 21.5K. If you're wondering if that's going to be tough, think again. It starts with a vertical kilometer. After that first vertical kilometer, it doesn't go easy though. 72% of today is above 2,700 meters. So altitude is going to play a key role in this race. Go early and you may burn out, but wait too long and altitude will start to kick. We don't know who's going to win. They've been training away from anyone in their own backyards. So today it's crazy exciting because anyone could genuinely come along and win today. Stay tuned because today is going to be the race of the season. Ready? Yes, I'm ready <laughs> to suffer. <laughs> it's like I'm feeling really good. I feel like champ. Excited? Yes. wondering where they are. They're just behind me over that ridge. The race starts with a vertical kilometer and wow has it split the field. Remy has gone out strong and Stian has been on his shoulder and Remy knows that if he wants to stand a chance of winning this thing he needs to shake off Stian before the downhill. Davide was looking a bit tense I've got to say but it's still early in the race and he's the champion so we can't rule him out. And we also have to look at who else can come up behind them. Nadir is looking very strong and boy can he run downhill. So this race is all going to be decided before that first big downhill. A lot of the ladies I was talking to were quite coy about how they're feeling about today and whether they were going to take it out on that first hill. Not more though. Wow, she has absolutely blistered up the first hill. She's got a massive lead and she doesn't look like she's tired. Incredible. Behind, we were hoping for a response from Judith and also from Rachel. They've been looking quite relaxed and I know for both of them, they really wanted to see how they were feeling before determining what pace they were going to attack the top. At the moment, they're looking relaxed. Let's see whether they're going to pick it up and try and haul Maud in or whether they're going to fade.
Could you see them? Probably not. They're moving way too fast. They're just coming up to the final big descent, and we knew this was the point where the race could be won or lost already. Stian has a commanding lead. I can't see anyone catching him on the downhill. Remy has been dropped a little bit. He's good on downhill, but I can't see him catching up, but he still is strong in second place. In third, Davide, he's got into the swing of things. He's slowly tracking in Remy. Can he catch him before the end? I don't know, but it's Davide. If anyone can, he can. In the ladies, wow. Maud went up that first hill way too quick to be able to keep the pace up. Nuh uh, she's still flying. She's got the course record in sight, and I can see her taking minutes and minutes off that. She looks strong, and she has got intent of telling everyone guess who's the winner last year? Guess who's the winner this year? But the former champion is here as well. Judith was taking it easy on the first hill to decide how she was feeling. And actually, she still looks smooth. She's getting into her running. I can't see her catching Maud, but I think she's got a strong second. And from nowhere, Ayana. I didn't see her coming in third, and I can't see her losing it now. She's good on up, she's good on down, and she's only got a little bit left to go. So that could be our top three. Let's wait and find out. I promise you it's going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good and that close in the men's in particular. That first hill, we knew Remy was strong coming off a really powerful winter season. He took it on the first hill knowing he needed to get a lead, but Stian was there on his shoulder. He couldn't shake him and by the top, he started storming past. His downhill was incredible today. And in third place, Davide. For some people, he was the favorite going into this. I've got to say on the way up, he didn't look that comfortable. But by the time he was on top, he was getting into his flow. So I really think next race, he's going to be challenging for that position. In the ladies, a completely different story. When I saw Maud this morning eating her breakfast, she had a steely look in her eye. And boy, did it tell. She took that first hill at pace and she just didn't let up. Her lead by the end was massive. But to be fair on the other runners, Judith had a, a year off. She's had a baby and she said this first race was more of a calibration. She looked completely smooth on the way down and I really think she's gonna be building race to race through this season. So watch out, by the end of the season, she's gonna be there challenging for the win. And in third place, Oyana. Oyana, oh boy. I hadn't done enough research about her before because I didn't think she was gonna be a contender for the podium, but she looks strong throughout and she's definitely gonna be someone to watch throughout the rest of this season. Killian predicted with a slightly shortened course there were gonna be personal bests and new course records today. He was saying for the men 206, 208. He was wrong, 204, and the women were just as strong. This is genuinely the best field we've ever had at the Golden Trail Series. And this is just the first day. So imagine how good they're going to be by the end of the season. Keep on watching. <laughs> so hard. Ah, it's a tough one. It's short, but it's, I think it's harder than the marathon races. That's what it takes to get the podium in the gold. It was a hard fight. Very hard. I'm very happy. It was difficult and uh, I don't, didn't know where the, the woman were. So I push. And I push until the end. Good comeback. Yeah. It's just crazy. I was a fan of you. Oh, yes. Wow, what a first race of the season. Some of it was as expected, some of it completely different. We're going to double it in three weeks' time at the Marathon de Mont Blanc. Who knows whether the winners today will have the strength to see them through the full marathon. So stay tuned and watch us in three weeks' time from Chamonix. The magic of Mont Blanc is back with the second stage of the Golden Trail World Series. The best trail runners in the world have come together at the Mont Blanc Marathon for an epic battle in this majestic backdrop. Who will succeed Ruth Croft and Davide Magnini in this roller coaster race? See you the 4th of July in Chamonix for the second stage of the Golden Trail World Series.